welcome to another video at my YouTube channel. Today I'm making a flower card for the Simon Says Stamp Wednesday uh, blog challenge. And um, I used this uh, stamp by Stampendous. It's called Classic Roses, um, but it was actually put out in 1996. I, I looked uh, for it, but I, I couldn't find it, so I do have linked uh, down below um, a, a couple of options for some really pretty um, rose stamps that I think that you'll like and it'll work well. Um, I stamped this in uh, Versamark ink and I embossed it with gold and then I watercolored it with uh, Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers and um, I found a 24 pack of uh, Zigs that have um, most of these pinks and greens in it that I used um, so I have that link down below as well and um, and also have this color of gold of the embossing powder link below as well and then I just used the Simon Says Stamp stitched uh, rectangle to cut it out now for my card base I just took a piece of um, 110 pound Nina classic cardstock and it is cut by 10 by 7 so it is a 5 by seven uh, card. Now um, I have this piece of just a gray card stock um, that is cut to uh, four and a sixteenth by five and one, two, three, four, five sixteenths. And that just gives a very small border. Um, around this piece just like this and I have this pink piece of pink uh, cardstock um, guava by Lon Vaughn is a good color for this and it is four and three quarter by uh, two and a half and that's actually going to go down first and then um, I have this piece of gray shimmer cardstock that I'm going to take this um, border punch by Martha Stewart and I'm going to create like a this is a flower pattern so I'm sticking with flowers but I'm going to create a border to go on top of this um, and again the, I'm sorry this is old um, I couldn't find this but I did link down below a couple of really pretty um, options and to use this uh, border punch, I just put it in. I, I start with uh, it on the edge. I make my first punch. And then I move that out of the way. I bring it down and you line up the design. So you can see that flower lined up there. So it's in the next position, and just punch again, and then bring it down and line it up again. And punch, and that should be sufficient to go across our card, yes. Okay, let's move that aside. There we go. It's going to look just like this. So, I'm just going to make a, a pencil line where I want to cut this off and cut this in my paper trimmer. Okay, I've got that trimmed. That's going to go just like that. There's a little tape runner adhesive down across the bottom. Let's see. Okay. Now we've got that on. I'm going to go ahead and, and tape this down to our card base.
Just do this real thin border down here. There's that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, now I can lift that up. Okay, I've got this piece of um, pink striped paper and another piece of the gray. And this is a sixteenth less than four and a half by four and a half. And then this is just a little bit bigger. Um, so it's about four and five eighths by a square, four and five eighths. So we're just going to layer that together. Put adhesive on the back of this and go ahead and get this stuck down. I should actually put this strike piece down first, but it's all good. that stuck down. Okay, now we're going to take a watercolor panel and we're going to stick it down. It's going to go right down there just like that. We have lots of layers of, of, of material, but it's still going to be a relatively flat card, so not using any um, foam on this one. You can see that pretty striped paper back there. Just a little hint of the the lace. Okay, now I've got this um, Butterfly Punch by EK um, Tools and this punch has three different settings. So you've got a solid, then you've got one with a, just a few holes cut around the edge and then you got one with a lot of detail cut out. So I took the um, the pink shimmer paper and I cut the detail out and then with the um, gray shimmer paper, I just cut the middle one out. And what I was thinking about doing was taking this butterfly, I was going to use that as like the shadow, and then I was going to put this on top, but I was going to kind of bend the little wings like that, so it looks like that. So I think that'll be very pretty on here. So let's get this stuck down. Okay, I'm just going to stick this down in this corner. Now I'm just going to put some glue on the spine of the, or the body of the uh, butterfly. I'm just going to take my tweezers. Just kind of Push it on there. Hold it for just a second to let the adhesive start grabbing. And there, that's pretty. Okay, now to fin. Uh, let's see. Before we do that, let's do some um, work on the inside. Um, I've got this pink piece of 
shimmer paper, glitter paper, that I'm going to um, do another border on. So again, I'm going to start towards the edge and then line up the, the pattern over here, punch, move it down, line up the, the pattern, and punch. Okay, it does make a mess. You can always save those little bits there um, to put in a shaker card. That would be cute. Okay. Now I'm just going to cut this off. Alright, I'm just going to glue this down at the bottom with a little tape runner. Okay, if you get glue on your craft mat, it just rolls right off. Line that at the bottom. Flip it over. Trim off the excess. Okay, now we've got this cute border on the bottom, and this time I've got it in reverse. I'm going to do um, the pink on the back and the gray on the top, but I'm just going to adhere them down flat since this is the uh, inside of the card. I think I'll put it over here this time. Okay, let's go back to the front of our card. Got our cute little butterfly. And I just want to do some pink and gray um, dots on the top. Maybe one down here. I've got an, uh, the enamel accents in the pink gumball. And then I've got Liquid Pearls by Ranger. Um, and this color is... I'm going to take a little scrap piece of paper because there's usually some air in the bottle. And so you just want a, a practice one. So that was good. Just squeeze and lift. And it'll it'll settle back down. Squeeze and lift. Again, let's do a little practice one. This stuff is a little thicker. And I think I'm just going to do one right here. All right, now we'll just let that dry and we'll come back. Here's a final look at the project for today. I hope everybody enjoyed this and got some inspiration. And as always, um, I thank you for watching and thumbs upping. And please also uh, visit my blog for more details. Thank you.